the pull of gravity from the Sun and the push of centrifugal force. With the exception of Mercury, all of the planets in our solar system are tilted on axis, and it's this that determines seasonal change. Uranus, however, is tilted on its side as a result of a colossal asteroid collision sometime in its past. If you imagine a gyroscope going round and round and the difficulty that you have in actually forcing that to tip over, you can see that you would need an enormous amount of energy to tip a, a body like Uranus over. So what would happen if the Earth suffered such a massive impact? Assuming we weren't mashed to pieces like an overripe fruit, it's possible our entire planet could be shifted to a new axis or even catapulted into the sun. If you give it enough energy, you can actually change the energy of the orbit, just like the orbit of comets can, can vary from circular to elliptical to hyperbole. If you give it enough energy, it's a hyperbola, which means it can then actually escape. Such a collision will shatter the entire fabric of our delicate microcosm, causing devastation on a truly unprecedented scale. Things are getting really hot here, as the Earth spins uncontrollably towards the sun. It will be the biggest story ever to hit the headlines. Journalists around the globe will go into overtime. Remember, even the slightest shift in the orbit of the Earth, closer to the Sun, will lead to the planet slowly overheating. Scientific speculation soon leads to abject terror as the consequences of such a disaster become apparent. This handkerchief has sudden with threat, but let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's nothing as compared with my underpants. So there would be huge consequences to the climate, to the orbit of the moon, also to the orientation of the magnetic field. There would be enormous effects on the tides and, of course, the seasons, which are related to climate uh, and related to the position around the sun as well. So there would be absolutely huge effects. The ice caps melt within days, creating massive floods. Earthquakes and supervolcanic eruptions tear apart the very fabric of the Earth. All that is left for those who remain is to write the ultimate headline for the final edition of the Daily Planet. Because tomorrow, there will be no planet. Eventually, all life on Earth is turned to a smoldering heap of ashes and cinders. The cosmos, as far as we are concerned, returns to a random mass of accidental matter. After that, there will be nothing. Zero. Zilch. The sad end of a beautiful experiment. <laughs>